Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 18727 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and skip ahead. And once again, not many new features in these builds, but they are starting to creep in with a few subtle changes. Incidentally, this build is also available as an ISO should you want to do a clean install. I also have to apologize for my scratchy voice. It's a bit sore this morning. Okay, what's new in this build? So we're going to this sign-in screen, you'll see a new designs, redesigned screen showing you the different options. They say it's to make it easier to get set up with a secure login for your system. So you can see here on my Surface Pro 3 it doesn't support facial recognition or fingerprints but it does have PIN or password. So um, if I, had, I were using my Surface Pro 4 it would show up with Windows Hello Face so, so that's where the Windows facial recognition or Windows Hello. Some other changes, um, over on the last build they introduced SwiftKey for the on-screen keyboard and they've added some more languages, English Canadian, English Indian, French Canadian, French Belgian, French Switzerland, Portuguese, uh, German Swiss and Spanish uh, American. So they can now use this SwiftKey, this is where you can sort of type using the... the um, so drag your finger across and you get all the, the uh, recommended uh, the words as you see on there. So the other option you've got there is you can do text suggestions while you're typing as well using the physical keyboard. So there you can see the on-screen key, the sort of prompts for the, the, the keywords and that's even though I'm using the physical key keyboard and not the, the, not the touch keyboard like that you can see I'm just a bit nonsense but you get the idea as well as ex there's accessibility improvements using the narrator with cap locks on so the other changes are to do with apps I haven't actually got the updated apps there's an updated version of snip and sketch rolling out uh, I've not that's going out to the fast ring uh, I haven't picked that up yet but that's got some um, option to print and including print into PDF uh, a new settings page and sticky notes also has some changes as well with different coloured notes and things but like I said I haven't picked those up yet. Other changes with this build is they've added the option to unpin folders. Now not everybody's going to get this but I have so you just there's a folder you can right click on it and unpin so that gets rid of that. They fixed some um, they fixed some pin issues, they fixed some PowerShell issues and uh, an issue with VS Code there are some known issues around uh, virtual desktops. Some you might still get an error when you're downloading a build and it uh, comes up with an, an error code called by caused by an express package. There's a couple of font type issues. PDF opening Microsoft Edge may not display correctly, um, and they've added a WSL may not work in this build. You may have to go back to a previous build if you want that. So those are the changes with this build. There's not a not a huge amount to to see they're just gradually introducing these changes like the keyboard predictions and things like that. So that's 18272 for Windows Inside on the Fast Ring, available as ISO as well. You can see more on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com and at ISDixon on Twitter.